Welcome to the final episode of Let's Play Mystical Ninja Starring Goemon. We are now at the final bit of the final dungeon of the <laughs> finalness and final, final, and what, what's so funny? <laughs> Things you're fighting? What? What? There's n n nothing weird going on here. I mean, this is so <laughs> totally normal what's happening right now. Yeah, it's great. Uh, anyway. Are this we gonna have to fight the torsos later? Nope. That, that that was it. That was just the welcoming committee for this really glorious, fantastic castle. Oh, yeah. But, uh, we got a little bit more exploring to do, a little bit more, but first, we'll, uh, see this picture of Dance in here? It's so wonderful, I just, uh, it's so dashing, so handsome, and it makes me kinda wanna just, uh, hug him! What? And that's how you get... the Golden Fortune Doll. Really? Boop! Oh my god! So now we have even more hits. <laughs> to go with now. We are unfucking stoppable. Oh, the legs are back, yes! We are like mystical dragon Jesus here. Uh, and then they're gonna throw a bunch of really nasty platforming our way. Are, can you explain the giant, like, cubes of color that are blocking your path every once in a while? The giant cubes of color that are blocking my path? Yeah, when you were walking in that last hallway, it was just a lot of blue just in the way. Unless I was seeing that wrong. Yeah, this. Oh, that? Yeah, what is this? I, I, I really... I don't know, really. I think it's just glass separated because these are all three different rooms. Oh, glass! I didn't even think of that! Uh, yeah, glass. It's, uh, what you, it's uh, from melted down sand. Uh, I, mean, I don't know why it's blue, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is gonna well, be another uh, one of these. We can talk about the wonders of glass uh, while I try <laughs> and make this ridiculous jump. You know, at certain heats, and just adding a little bit of color, you can make different colored glass. If extensive heat is brought to the front of the glass, it can become tempered and become incredibly hard. But, when struck from the sides, it is incredibly fragile and can crack very easily. As soon as the, uh, the glass has become molten, as we call it, you can actually form it into different positions. This is how ornaments are made. Those who live in glassed houses must not cast stones. Can I just mention that you weren't climbing on the ladder there, and yet you still made it? Of course. But I'm, I'm, I'm a ninja. I'm like the most powerful ninja who ever fucking... Ah, goddamn. See, it's very very difficult to maneuver around here because, the, <laughs> like I said, triangles and physics don't seem to work very well in this game. <laughs> Especially if those triangles have a point. It's like the way your character moves or whatever, but hey, look at that, we just managed to do it right I, then and there. I could just see Danson sitting on top of his throne, he's going, Wow, I didn't need to get all these, like, s severed legs and, you know, all these different horrors to come fight these ninjas. All I needed were simple platforming! Yeah, whatever, I'm right downstairs, he's watching me. He's laughing his ass off. He just needed to make a giant robot in the shape of a triangle, and it completely destroys your morale. I want to see if I'm going the right way here. Just, things get a little tricky. They threw a few curveballs here. I should hope so. It's the last level. The music's so epic, too. I know. I didn't want to say anything because I was listening. But that carpet. Oh. Oh, so gauche. Come on, dancing. Literally, is there interior decorator colorblind or something? Well, maybe you killed him. Maybe he was just getting to the end part and Danson had to do the carpet himself. Well, it's not just that. It's the walls, it's the floors, it's everything. This level oh. is so loud, you have no idea? It is loud. Still love the music, though. You can't get past that. Doesn't really match too much. You know, we got a hard guitar going. It's, like, intense, you know, doki doki pump pump. Get pump up the jams, all that, and we got this. All of this ridiculous clashing colors. Not, there's no sense of marriage between them. <laughs> so That's the most difficult. Oh, uh, I I just love the fact that you could see into negative space. It's like going on your next mission. Go into negative space. It's like the most difficult part about this game. This this dungeon is. All the clashing colors. So now I get to what this is. This is just... Uh, yep, that's what this is. Yep, it's... 
you. Mm -hmm. you, go through, you go through that door to start, you go through this door when you want to get back up, and then you jump back to yourself because you're not doing it right. Oh, I'm glad it's all connected for our convenience. That is kind of convenient, actually. It's neat. Alright, using Sasuke again. <laughs> Woohoohoo! Alright. I love all the extra work that that little thing's making me do. Just for simple jumps, too. Yep. Oh, there's lava in a room. There's a 99.9% .9 chance you'll run into it. We'll see. Alright, time to go Super Saiyan again. And... Uh, Alright, takes care of that one. Takes care of... Uh, what am I doing with this one? Uh... Oh, wait, I think I know. Hmm. Hmm, maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You push it from that end, but that doesn't work. Can't pull him. Push it all the way there, maybe you can... Ah, shit. Oh, okay. Wouldn't it be funny if Goku could go Super Saiyan, like, all he wanted, but only at 30 seconds at a time? Yes! There you go! Yes! <laughs> Fuck it! Who, who, ca told. who cares? All I need to do is hit that switch! Why do I need to do this ridiculous crap? Why is not it like, there? Not like it matters! It really doesn't matter! See? <laughs> I don't know, I lost 25% of my health that I'm sure I can get back easily. Dude, you're gonna die. I have three silver fortune dolls right now, there's one more to get that's lit, like right before the final door. Which, that's gonna give me full health, so... With an additional heart on top of that, so it's like holy fucking crap here. Do you remember the days when you called this a 100% no death run? Two death is fine, and those are really the only places that you can really die on in one hit, really. Oh, I, and I sh and I showed that off for the world. Well, I wasn't even close to criticizing. I was more about to say you did a lot better than me. I would have died multiple times in this game. Let me say multiple times, it's not that hard. Okay, at least... Once. I, I guess, I don't know. It's too bad, because the game over scream is really, really weird. Like, Japanese culture weird, or...? Do you remember the one from Goemon's Great Adventure? A little bit, I definitely saw it plenty of times. It's like that. Oh, for reference, and for people who haven't seen it, can you uh, throw that on screen? Sure. Naked Blue Dudes Dancing! Woo hula hoop shake that shit! So many memories were brought back. Alright, Sasuke's gonna help us out on this one, I'm sure, because I have to fucking do this again. <laughs> he is so figure. much better yeah! on <laughs> I was, I was about moving. to say, does he handle better on triangles? Nope, still operator error. Only squares and circles for this one. Sasuke is like trying to figure out this jumping puzzle. It's ah. like, do I put the triangle in the square hole? What do I do? He works out the, tra the trajectory in his mind, but because of the sh the shifting triangles, he gets desynced. <laughs> ah. uh, there! Wow! Y you know, there. using the jetpack, I think you made it uh, like two times more complicated than it actually was. Maybe, but either way, we can now go in the diamond key, locked door, whatever it's called. We go through this center thing here, nothing to stop us, and now... We are practically in the last room of the game. Nice, nice. It's a giant maze. You got two paths here. A little tricky, though. Now, is this the only junction in this labyrinth, or...? Yeah, actually, it looks like there's a lot more. Door there. All right. Let's see what's down that other path before we go in, into that door. Makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah. Make sure we get the full experience. Well, we don't want so to advance just... the game and miss out on that last silver fortune doll. How do you know that? Oh, look at that! And boom! All the fortune dolls are ours. I'm so happy. I feel like it almost jumped the way over there. Yeah, I think I will jump all the way over there. Why not? A little, hey, wh a little why excited. Not? 
Time to celebrate. You got 100% of this game done. Now we just need to beat the boss. For the first time ever! <laughs> when are you going to speedrun this at SGDQ? Never! Okay, maybe SGDC 2077. Okay, okay. Oh. When they get N64 emulation right. Whoa, whoa, that's weird. Ooh. Oh, wow, that's weird. I am never good at these types of rooms in fun houses. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> mention your perceptions a bit off when it comes to these. I mean, even now I'm like, oh, Jesus, whoa. Ugh, I just, I, I can't take that, man. I just can't. Hey, you made it. What's this? What, what, what the, Peach Mountain Main Hall entrance. All right, let's do it. Are you ready? Fernandez? <laughs> that was the nickname that he gave Goemon and his friends. Hello, Fernandez. Are you ready for a final fight? That's precisely what he talks like, I think. Damn it! <laughs> Except Secret more powers! Think more opera star E. Oh, okay. But now they're gonna awaken their secret powers for probably the most epic fight in the entire game. A dual attack between Danson and Lily. Well, all right, I'm an unstoppable ninja. There's nothing that you can do that can stop me now. Combine them together, they become Dilly Dally! Eh! Hmm, I like that. The Peach Mountain Shoguns. Time to see why they are the king and queen. Da 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 da. Wow! Whoa! Like angels from hell. They look gorgeous! I'm sorry, I'm, I'm tearing up a bit. I worked so hard to get here. Are you more of an operatic music listener? Like, do you enjoy it if it's on? If it's good. I just, I just like good music, man. That was good music. Uh, yeah, we, we can both agree on that. That was really good. Yeah, I'll applaud that. That's their special attack! Gung! They got oh, me! Oh no! <sighs> They've become groupies! They became fans! And they escaped. Oh. This seems familiar. It is. <laughs> that was it's not like, 20 seconds. That was a fast-ass 20 seconds. It's time to save, and it's time for everyone's favorite guy. <gasps> Go on, Goemon. Do what must be done. Yes. 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 How else do you think this gun but a Goemon game is going to end? Woo! With a shirtless fight on a roof? No! The theme plays again. We are battling against whatever gigantic robot would go up against Impact. It is time to fight again. Two songs in a row. I'm feeling spoiled. Break down! Wadu yakshinamoguchi koase! 
Sie sind, sie sind gegen Guy Power. <clears throat> Sorry, I, li I like this soundtrack, okay? It's the best soundtrack in gaming I can think of right now, at least in the late 90s. A lot of people agree with you. Alright, time to cause unknown amounts of property damage. Well, the thing is, we're in space. So Damn it! Really, we're just breaking more <laughs> Peach Mountain shit. Oh, well, that'll work. Good enough for me. Hey, it gets you in the mood, because we're gonna finally beat them once and for all! Ah, oh, God! <laughs> oh, my God, I love that. That pratfall, whatever you want to call it. I have... it has been done before where I, uh, trip, and then I fall into a pit as I come back. <laughs> so it's a double hit. And it's oh, really lovely. They definitely put a lot more crap in your way. Ah! <laughs> well, yeah, this is the final bout. You gotta make sure you're prepared, because we've got... Well, we've, ah! got, a hell of a, we've got a hell of a fight in the store, I'll tell you what. Oh, well, good. I'm looking forward to it. That's nasty. See a pit and then a dock. <laughs> See, I'm mainly looking forward to it because I don't have to play it, because I'm absolutely awful. <laughs> As uh, people watching back in, uh, what was that, 2011 would know? 2012. Oh, well, it was years ago. It was a few months before Game Grum started, actually. Oh my god, you're right! They owe us one. <laughs> it's a little funny that they're doing Sonic Adventure right now. Oh, well, shit! Hmm. Maybe we should get on that. Yeah. Anyway. <gasps> a space battle! Of course we're gonna be in space. I, I mean, come on. I, I didn't put two and two together. It is a giant robot battle in space. It's a Japanese game that focuses on a bunch of Japanese stereotypes and cliches and pop culture references. What do you think is gonna happen when you're in a giant fucking robot? Ball bear? <laughs> the Great Peach Mountain battleship that we're about to sink. E3. <clears throat> well... They've got a lot of range of attacks, and part of the confusion is figuring out how to deal with all of them at one at a time. And, uh, really the idea is to destroy everything until it has nothing left. First good place to start is, uh, those six guns on the side there. Oh, you can actually hit those? Yeah, I'm just trying to punch these drone things are freaking me out. Oh! Uh, oh! Uh. You can get a lot of coins back from punching those things, which you can use to destroy those things. You're going to be using the laser a lot in this battle. Cool. So, uh, being a fan of Star Fox 64, I feel right at home here. I was just... I, I got that vibe, too. And I love that we were on the same wavelength there. Mm-hmm. Alright, destroy it all. You have enough money. Uh, it doesn't carry over. It's I have my own separate thing. So, really, all of that powering up and shit that we did... Ultimately adds up to nothing. Well, there's more bragging rights, if anything. Because everything everything in the end here is going to be done with impact. Now that's kind of disappointing, because that would have completely broken this part if you were able to carry on the money. No shit. I'm also well, practicing my uh, mashing Z as fast as I can techniques. I, <laughs> I noticed. Oh, the N64 cannot process the the fact that you can push buttons really quickly. I don't know if I'm holding it or if I'm just, like, going really quickly back and forth, like... I think I'm rapidly tapping it. But because, like, a trigger is easy to do. Ha ha. You're not as stupid as you look! Oh no, we're quoting Star Fox in a Goemon Let's Play, no! Sorry to jet, but I'm in a hurry. It's like all your previous projects come together for this one. Gucky little freaks! <laughs> you know, if they did do a cameo, well, which one came first, by the way? Maybe I should ask that first. Star Fox 64. If there was actually a cameo in here, if Konami was smart enough to actually put a, uh, a cameo in here, that would be hilarious. Unlikely. I mean, this isn't really like, you know, Konami developing this. It's like... Uh, it's a Konami Computer Entertainment Osaka, which I don't even know if they're around anymore. Probably not. They've been really quiet. Hey, who cares about Konami anyway? Well, yeah. After September 1st, nobody. <laughs> Just imagine if they deleted it indefinitely. Oh, oh man, I thought, I thought the impact beam could take him out in one hit. Damn it. Ah, oh, no! Oh, no. 
Ah, I will get it back. Because just by punching, as you can see, the, the impact beam builds up. You don't have to hit anything, you just gotta punch fast enough. Holy crap! That was fast! So let's give this another try. Let's take him down a little bit more. Maybe get lined up a bit. I keep moving to the right, as it seems. So, alright, we can work around that. Okay, ah, whoa, okay. Off, off. Maybe if I aim, like, to the right a little bit. So, like, let's right... See. Maybe? That? Oh. oh. It's like one part off, man. So it's directly where your reticle is from the looks of it. Yeah. It, it, it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, die. Here's something for you. Hey, try again. Your impact Go! beam. Your impact beam, does that charge up when you punch things or just when you hit things? Just when you, you throw a punch and it charges up. Holy shit, that worked well. Yep. Is it going to pull a Bayonetta and this is just the first of many, many final bosses? <laughs> nope, that's the end. Psych, I got you. Oh, you trickster. An even bigger robot. I love, how the, is, I love how the final boss is always the scariest thing in the game. That's always my favorite part about these N64 games. Even some SNES games. So he's got, he, he's, he's just really quick, but really he's not all that tough because he still has 2,000 health. Remembering yeah. back to Goemon's Great Adventure, which had like 6666 six, six health. That's because they're sixes. clever like that. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, got it. Oh god! Oh god! Got it. Oh god! Oh, jeez. Very nice, very nice. Aww. He thinks to block my... my, uh, chain pipe a lot, and now uh, he likes to do this. Definitely takes a long time. Eh. Uh, be better if I wasn't going bip, bip, bip. If they're a bit faster, it'd be- OW! Different. Wow, the tail thing actually worked. 230 oil, that's... not good. Ah, uh, 210 oil, that's even worse. Don't die, dude. Please. I, I said we weren't dying, right? Right. Alright, well, I, I, I intend to keep that. We're not gonna die. We're Anymore. not gonna die. No, we're not gonna die. It's not gonna happen. We're, damn it, we're not gonna die. I promise you, we're not gonna die. 110 oil, though. Hmm. Uh, worrisome, but we're not gonna die. We're fine. We're fine! See? We hit him again, and... I couldn't do a double off. That's... That's... That's fine, though! And disappointing. There. That's the perfect time to use a chain pipe when he's that far away where I can't really punch. I can't really punch him. So I can just use my chain pipe. If that works out. All right, come here. Get over here. There, see, we're on top. All righty. Huh? Hey, buddy. What? Oh, hey. that's cheap. Oh, I was too far away. Oh, come over here, then! Oh! <laughs> right. It just flails around like, No, 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 please, no! Come oh, back for nice. another one! Come back for another one, then! Yeah! Oh, Shit. did the shield thing! Blocked it. Oh, Jesus, now. Uh... I will fuck you on that shit! Oh, did that cancel it? And hit him! I'll be damned! Even got rid of the asteroids that were after you. Oh yeah. God! <laughs> oh no. That was a cheap shot. Alright, 60 health. Uh, I don't know if I can do this anymore. We, we might be a little fucked. He's got 335 health. We gotta get like four more hits in him. Have some faith in yourself. Oh wow. Ah, God. Oh man, oh man. Yeah. Never mind, uh, you're screwed. Oh, oh wait. Yeah? Oh yeah? Boom! Boom! No way! And that's oh, how you get finish. The hell out of here! And that's how you finish a let's play, my friend. <laughs> Woo! With next to no health and shooting him with a gigantic laser to destroy a mech in space. That's what we call 
closing input. You better put the CSI in Miami scream. I gotta hear the who. Man, I'm just referencing all the detective shows these days, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. You wanna throw in a pineapple in there just for good measure? Gosh, you watch TV. Ugh. Ugh. What's wrong with me? I'm glued to the screen all every day. <laughs> it's Gaiman! And that would be the point where he just explodes. How did you know? I don't think they needed the impact line. It still would have been better if he just said, Go, Emma! And then giant unibeam. She was saying, Baka, 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 Baka. We are not that stupid. <sighs> Thank you, Danson. Thank you, Lily. You were... You are antagonists of some sort. We created a new star. Wow. Uh, yeah, yep, there you go. Do you know the best crossover now would be? Uh, Ninja Gaiden and, and Goemon? Not only that, but Goemon and Katamari Damacy. Impact versus the King of All Cosmos. I could see that. That would that be awesome! Work. Yeah, that, 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 that could work, yeah. It's a battle to create the new stars. I hope nobody notices him. <laughs> Honey, is it just me or is there a mech in the backyard? Shh! Don't make fun of the neighbors! Whoops! <laughs> Dude! Oh, wait. Never mind. All right, Kyushu is coming back down to Earth. Looks like ah! everything's. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Not really. Haven't they seen Age of Ultron? <laughs> if something that big comes flying back down to Earth, it'll crack the planet in half. Hell, this game is unrealistic. Hell, Angel Island had that had much more impact when it came falling to Earth. <laughs> That's a good point. All right, time to go. But wait, one more thing. Oh God, Japanese person's worst nightmare: fangirls. Yes, fangirls. Fangirls for everyone. They're fangirls for you, fangirls for me, fangirls for Goemon and Ebisu and all of his friends. All to tell us how wonderful we all are at what we do, and we're so awesome. Time to bask in the praise for a job well done. Yeah, because he's the cheapest day, Tekken. <laughs> no! The only chan laugh in text. Uh oh. Just duck out of the way. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> <gasps> the end! That's it! <laughs> that was pretty good! Alright, that was Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. That was one of my all-time favorite games ever. It shaped me a lot as a child and really made me pursue the path of Japanese and learning about the culture and the language and everything like that. Uh, well, what did you think? You definitely made it look fun, and I have a strange feeling that even if I did know about this game when I was a kid, I probably still would have missed it. Oh shit, Sasuke! You just <laughs> yeah, fucked- It's like you were playing! How could you <laughs> fuck that up? I mean, that's-, that's... <laughs> But yeah, uh, both Goemon games that you have showed me, one that I participated in, you definitely made them fun to watch and uh, fun to play. 
Well, these, these are... Oh, well, Ebisu. Ebisu. <laughs> oh, no. That's my boy. No, no. Oh, Ebisu. <laughs> All right, that was, that was good. But, uh... Yeah, no, these are really fun games. They've always been fun games, and I wish Konami cared a bit more about them, the same way that people should care about this game. You know, it's it's uh, it's fun, it's got a lot of good heart, it's uh, great music, always. All the games have great fucking music. Uh, you could probably skip the NES one and the one on Game Boy and the one on SNES, but any other ones after that, you know, great games to play. I was about to ask you, how many games in total, and how many of those would we end up doing? Are we just doing these two? Mm, uh, could be. That's a good sign. Well, we might take another break but, but for, for Goemon, because, hey, we took like a three-year break from the last one, so... Ho hopefully it's not that long. And everything else is in Japanese, but there are two better ones on the SNES, another N64 one that's really just like a board game, a DS one, and like I said, a Game Boy one that sucks. I mean, it's called Mystical Ninja Starring Goemon, and I bought it because I thought it was the one for N64, and it wasn't. I was a dumb child, okay? I think we all were at one point. Yeah, I can never fire that bazooka again, so she threw it into the sea. Goemon went on to be a school teacher, where he taught everyone the art of becoming Super Saiyan. What you do is you grab a pipe! Yeah! And then do that. This time, Sasuke's given the upskirts. Oh, that robot boy! But he didn't get any genitalia programmed into him. Oh, thank God, it's just a battery. I'm just gonna hang here for a bit. Hi, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's about how I feel. <laughs> oh, 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 gosh. And here's a guy just walking around town. You know, casual strolls in a game like this where it's big and open and it actually has towns to see, I like those games. They'd be a lot bigger if they weren't on the N64. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, even nowadays, if there's a JRPG or some game like that where it has a big town to explore, I love exploration and stuff like that. In the beginning of the game, let's crawl into our stove. Now, that's the perfect place for this game and franchise. <laughs> I love I'm not the only one who loves to open doors with their chest. You mean just, like, chest bump doors to open them? Yeah. Uh, you forgot the star in Hinorobu Kagayama? God! Just forget the whole game. Three out of ten. Game spot. But really, I, I give it like a... Eight out of ten. Seven, seven out of ten if you're not... If you didn't grow up with this game. Well, that just begs the question. What's next? What's next? Well... Eh... Uh, it's another blue-haired, spiky thing. Hmm... I don't get it. It's all me a blur neither. to me. Yeah, me neither, yeah. Well, uh... More updates will be coming fast. So, uh... Stay tuned. One more Sega. thing. Sega! One more thing. <gasps> BAM! <laughs> Boss mode?! Yep! Large boss mode. Sweet. <laughs>